When you're booking your next city break or your next holiday away, what are the first things you think of? Are they the feel of the bed sheets in the hotel? Are they the location or is it the free soaps? Perhaps it's net zero. Well, if it is, then this might be the place for you. We're in Chiswick, West London, at room two, as you can see behind me. This place claims to be the first net zero hotel in the world. How can it be net zero though? That's what we're here to find out. Robert Godwin is managing director of the Lamington Group, which set up Room 2 Hotels just under seven years ago. After visiting an elephant park in South Africa, he saw firsthand how climate change was increasing drought and impacting wildlife. This ended up being the catalyst on his return to the UK to change the outlook of the business. So this is um, Room 2 Chiswick, it's the first whole life net zero hotel in the world. Uh, it opened December 2021 last year. Um, whole life net zero basically means that our operational carbon uh, to run the lights, the heating, all the, all the equipment uh, has been brought down to zero um, or minimised and uh, we've offset the, the last bit down to zero. Uh, and also from our embodied carbon, what's locked up in the manufacture and all the products which we had to, uh, which we had to build and put here. Uh, has been also reduced as much as possible and then brought down to zero. It was looking at what the minimum standard would be to, for the future, um, and that is net zero. There is no sort of halfway house. We have got to, as a whole economy uh, and built environment, um, find ways to um, just reduce all of our carbon and continuously improve that as we go further and reduce the offsetting we need to do. Um, but it's hopefully something which will inspire, and it has already started to inspire our sector to, to look at what they can do uh, and raise the bar. One of the things that intrigued me so much about uh, what you guys are doing here is its rarity in the sector. Can you explain to me perhaps why you think it's been something that people haven't considered yet? And also, would you mind touching on how this hotel is run differently to your average hotel? I think there's a lot of maybe structural reasons why hotels uh, haven't um, pursued this or haven't invested um, significantly enough into this, maybe even with a bit more of a short term time frame. Uh, or where ownership structures are slightly uh, restricted, the ability to have a, um, an impact on some more long-term issues. Um, but I think consumers are, have been looking out for brands and, and products and services which uh, fit with their, sort of their values uh, and are increasingly looking to try and use uh, products and services which um, have a strong purpose and have a strong sort of, um, story behind them. And so consumers are definitely seeking this out, but I think it's now time that the industry um, the private sector really wakes up and starts to deliver what, what's required for consumers, but also for you know, the, the environment as well. Can you explain how uh, the hotel is net zero? Because obviously it's a term that at the moment is quite popular, but um, it takes a lot of hard work. So how have you guys made sure that your hotel uh, fits into the parameters of that? Yeah, okay, so net zero, first of all, is an absolute uh, focus on every little detail uh, with everything being on the table to mitigate and to, re well, to avoid and to reduce our carbon from our operational and embodied, uh, first of all, so that we have a, a lower balance to, to offset at the, at the end. In this building, we have ground source heat pumps, which go 200 meters down to the ground uh, that reduce our energy consumption by about 36% uh, and convert 100% of our heating um, hot water and our cooling. On the roof we have solar panels uh, and so this building is maximising the renewable energy that we generate on this site, minimising what we need to draw from the grid. Of course we buy 100% renewables uh, anyway from, from the grid. Um, the fabric has got additional fabric uh, quality so it's um, effectively minimising the amount of heat loss. Um, air tightness is a, is a big thing. Inside the bedrooms we are minimising energy waste and that's a big thing in hotel environments where we are still providing a service where people need to be able to have comfort and you know, use all the facilities that we provide as they would expect elsewhere. But for us, it's critical that if they're out of the room, for example, you know, we want to make sure the lighting and all the heating and cooling is turned off. So rather than relying on the guests to switch it off or use card readers, everything's occupancy, sent, occupancy, occupancy enabled. Um, which is a small detail, but it means that if no one's in here, it's, it's going off, which is great. And then on the embodied side, it was a lot of it comes down to sort of looking at um, making wise decisions around products which we can use, a lot of local sourcing, um, a lot of uh, using natural materials which have a, have a low footprint from the manufacturer. Um, essentially, everything that we made, uh, everything that needed to be had decision went through a sustainability lens, uh, and we were making as many pragmatic um, or any, any decisions as possible to um, put everything on the table and, and, and do our very best at it. Uh, people coming to stay in the hotel, your customers, are they intrigued by the fact that this can boast being a net zero hotel? Is that something people care about? Or is it just simply, 
oh, I really like these lights, I really like the colour scheme you've got going, and I need somewhere to stay? Or do your guests sometimes maybe ask, why is this uh, net zero, or what does that mean? Yeah, so I think we've been really, um, really pleased by, I think, the turnout and the specific um, interest that people have had to stay specifically for uh, the sustainability credentials. Um, so it's been a really big pick up on, you know, in, in the press uh, for the really authentic and deep rooted um, uh, initiatives which we've got going on in the building. And our customers are able to come now and experience it and we are able to tell the story and we have a little bit of edutainment initiatives again around the building which help communicate what we have been doing. Uh, and really have to tell the story about how we are trying to make a difference. So, uh, yeah, and it, 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 customers are um, appreciating it and coming to see it. Um, and it helps, I suppose, give us um, the sort of the, the feeling that we're doing the right thing as well. Some think that businesses pushing to cut carbon can lead to a less premium product or experience. But having seen where I'd lay my head, go for a drink in the evening, and go for a workout in the afternoon, I can say that in this case, Net Zero is not leading to a compromise on customer satisfaction. So, is Net Zero the future for the hotel industry? Well, if this place is anything to go by, there's room to grow.